From the mechanics to the cabin, aircraft are made with the most lightweight high-strength materials, such as honeycomb structural panels. These make up the support structure hidden beneath the flooring and behind the walls of, among other areas, the toilets, galleys and stow bins. The cells at the centre of the structural panel are hexagonal in those designed to lie flat and rectangular in curved panels. Producing the core begins with giant printing cylinders. Etched into their surface is a pattern of lines. They rotate in heat-activated adhesive, printing the line pattern onto paper that passes between them. This paper is made of thermoplastic, but depending on the type of panel, it can be another kind of paper or even aluminium foil. This machine cuts the paper into sheets, anywhere from 500 to 2,000 sheets, depending on how thick the cores will be. The machine then stacks the sheets in a specific sequence. Every other sheet is offset by half a line. This back and forth pattern is what forms the core's honeycomb cells. The stack now goes into a heated press, which activates and cures the lines of adhesive, bonding the sheets. After an hour, they remove the stack and attach aluminium foil loops along its perimeter. Then they stand the stack on its side and hook those loops onto the steel pins of a device called an expansion frame. It slowly pulls the sheets apart, opening the honeycomb cells that the special stacking sequence formed. To ease the expansion process, they soften the paper with water. This is a time-lapse shot. The full expansion takes about 15 minutes. Next, the block goes into an oven, where it bakes for half an hour at 275 degrees Celsius. The heat sets the thermoplastic paper, locking in the honeycomb shapes. Now they repeatedly submerge the block in a vat of resin, baking it after each dip. Here, an aspirator sucks out the excess resin. Then after final baking, an automated saw slices the block horizontally into several cores. Then it's over to the assembly table. They construct a structural panel like a sandwich. The honeycomb core is in the centre. This one's made of aluminium foil. Then on either side are the panel's outer sheets, in this case, made of carbon fibre. On the top and bottom, workers position a sheet of release paper to prevent the panel from sticking to the metal sheets that hold everything in position for now. Workers load the assembly into a press. The heat and pressure combined bond all the layers. An hour later, they take the sandwich out of the press and remove the metal sheets. Workers slap on labels identifying the product and manufacturer. Then, they shear off the panel's rough edges. The factory subjects some samples to a series of quality control checks. This load test, for example, assesses how much the panel can flex and how much weight it can withstand before snapping. Whatever the material's thickness or density, these structural panels all deliver maximum strength with minimum weight. <laughs>